everyone how you guys doing so it's already our fifth day here in Hokkaido and on today's video we are going to historical village of Hokkaido uh, nandito sa Sapporo and uh, I think it's one hour away from our Airbnb uh, nga pala guys no kung napapansin nyo parati kami sa sasakyan ng gasalita or hindi kami masyadong nagkasalita pag nasa labas kami kasi nga nagingit kami dahil madulas uh, meron naman tayong nabibili sa mga convenience store nung spike na sinusuot sa paa kaso lang uh, every time magkatanong kami sa convenience store it's always sold out so ayun lang guys doble ingat lang tayo para hindi tayo madulas dahil sobrang sakit talagang madulas but mas masakit pa rin iwanan ka ng Joa <laughs> Anyway guys, I'll see you guys there. Bye. Ram in Japan. in Japan. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better days. Fuck me, I'm looking in the mirror. The main entrance to the village is the old Sapporo Station Building. Upon entering the village, you will be in the atmosphere typically on the frontier period of Hokkaido, mid-19th to early 20th century. A horse-drawn trolley provides transportation along the main street, which is lined the old wooden and stone buildings. Farm life is displayed in traditional houses built by immigrants from Honshu. In autumn, harvest festivals will be held at the Shinto Shrine in the village. This is the Hokkaido Reclamation Sapporo Central Government Office Building, early Meiji administrative unit for Hokkaido to reclaim Ezo land inhabited by the Ainu people. This is Herring Lodging House. The big, grand lodging house was called a Herring Palace. Large quantities of Herring live off the coast of the Sea of Japan. It became a big business supporting the reclamation of Hokkaido. former Otaro newspaper publisher. It was built with Sapporo soft stone. See how old newspaper were made. Hokkaido, Japan's second largest island but with less than 5% of its population, has long been considered the nation's last frontier. It didn't open up to development until the latter half of the 1800s, when the Meiji government began encouraging Japanese to migrate to the island build western-style home buildings, farm the land, and work in mines and other industries. Between 1884 and 1886, 1,286 Japanese made the move to the vast and untamed land. Those days are long gone, but you can still get a feeling of what life must have been like for those early pioneers by strolling the lanes of the historical village of Hokkaido outside Sapporo. Today, it has grown into a bona fide settlement with approximately 60 Japanese and Western style structures dating mostly from the Meiji and Taisho eras and bought here from around Hokkaido along with a few replicas. Hey guys, so yun, dito na nga kami sa historical village of Hokkaido. Uh, meron siyang entrance sa 800 yen tapos yung parking lot is libre uh, tapos meron silang campaign na 800 tapos kung gusto mo pumunta pa dun sa Hokkaido Museum which is the main, main exhibit dito ay may plus siyang 400 so magiging 1 to siya per person tapos meron pa siyang discount if you're senior or um, high school student or yung mga bata so, 
So, ayun lang. Tara, libutin pa natin itong lugar. A post office, barber shop, and grocery store line the main street of town. The town is the most stately, lined with imposing buildings like the Hokkaido Middle School, built in Sapporo in 1909, and the 1897 Matsuhashi Family Residence, a wooden structure with a thin roof and western-style rooms but furnished with tatami. And guys, there is also available here na parang sled. Uh, hat hatak siya ng mga kabayo, tapos Meron siya 200 na ex ex 200 yen na extra bayad pero uh, you have to check dun sa may bilhin ng ticket kung anong oras yung mga trip nung uh, kabayo. So, ayun lang. Hokkaido Development Village is like an outdoor museum. It is an experience park where the theme of recreating the life, culture, industry, and economic history of the pioneering era. More than 50 precious buildings such as residences, schools, factories, and businesses have been relocated and restored. And walking around is like returning to Hokkaido a hundred years ago. In addition to visiting the interior of the building, you can experience the way of life of Hokkaido people a hundred years ago. And you can also experience the transportation at that time, such as carriage, railway. I personally enjoyed my time there. And I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Hokkaido Museum looks at a natural environment, history, and culture of Hokkaido from a Northeast Asian perspective. The exhibition starts with a full skeleton reconstruction of the two types of elephants that lived in Hokkaido. The Nauman elephants that came from Honshu and the mammoths from the continent through Sakhalin. In addition to traditional Ainu handicrafts, various early pictures, three-dimensional miniatures, and other models of the early Showa era are on display, so you can have a good time regardless of your age or nationality. Hands-on exhibits such as real fossils you can touch and the chance to make sentences using the orally transmitted Ainu language are also worth trying. The museum has put on boards explaining the exhibits in multiple languages. And you can also borrow an audio guide supporting six languages. The Ainu are an indigenous people from the northern region of the Japanese archipelago, particularly Hokkaido. The Ainu culture is distinctive with a language that is unrelated to Japanese, a spirituality that holds that spirits dwell in every part of the natural world, traditional dances that are performed at family events and festivals, and crafts such as wood carvings and embroidery that incorporate unique patterns. Increasing numbers of people have been trying to revive traditional dances based on old records and to create new types of Ainu music. The Ainu language is from Hokkaido, Sakhalin, and Kuril Islands. It is distinct from Japanese and although some aspects of word order are similar, there are numerous grammatical differences. Sapporo Station is the city's main railway station located right downtown. Multiple shopping centers around the station complex, particularly on its south side. Sapporo Station dates back to the early development of Hokkaido in the late 1800s, but its current building was opened in 2003. A replica of the original station building can be found at the historic village of Hokkaido. Sapporo Station stands in the center of Sapporo and is served by all JR lines and two of the city's three subway lines. The Sapporo Station bus terminal is found to the southeast of the station, while many additional bus stops are located both on the south and the north side of the station. Hello guys! So now we're here at Sapporo Station. Uh, well, we don't have really to go to the itinerary, but I want to show you this uh, Sapporo Station because this is the best starting point of journey here in Sapporo. Kasi Ah, uh, halos lahat ng mga ano bang tawag nito, tourist spots ay malapit dito sa Sapporo Station. And for sure kung magte-train kayo, ga subway or uh, galing kayong airport, dito kayo babagsak. So, ayun lang ikaw, ano sabi mo? Maganda, malaki. Para siyang Tokyo, pero uh -huh. sa Tokyo di ba maluwag yung 
dito. Oo. Uh, uh, may mall din siya sa, ano, sa loob. So, para ingat lang kayo guys dahil sobrang lawak nga niya. Baka maligaw kayo. So, make sure na familiarize yung place or uh, humanap ng uh, map para mas masiguro na hindi kayo mawawala. Ayun lang. Bye! The clock tower was built in 1878 as a theatrical hall of the Sapporo Agricultural School, present day Hokkaido University. The idea behind the tower came from Dr. Clark, who was the school first vice principal. It was used as a facility where agricultural school students conducted their military training and physical education and as the main hall where commencement and other ceremonies were held. Its main characteristic is the balloon-type wooden architecture popular in the mid and western regions of America during the frontier era. It is well known for its red roof and white walls, but during the time that it was used as a public library, the color of its walls is said to have been green. Visitors can learn about the history of the clock tower including the incident of the big fire in the exhibition room on the first floor. If you enjoy a spot of ice skating in the winter months, a limited time event is bringing a rink to the heart of Hokkaido's capital. Smile Ring Sapporo runs for 10 days and allows attendees to enjoy an urban skating session flanked by tall buildings and illuminated trees after dark. Ram in Japan. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.